everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video for you. Just kind of like a sunflowerish, Lazy Susan kind of flower design. And I'm using a number 12 and a number 14. Uh, these are a magic flat brushes. You'll find the links down below as affiliate links if you want to purchase through them. Then I'm doing a fine liner by Westonia and a number 8 Deerfoot Stippler. All the paints I'm using are Fogart paints. I'm using Teddy Bear Brown, Evergreen, Thicket, Licorice, Yellow Ochre, School Bus Yellow, and Yellow Light. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna begin by tipping the front of the brush into the licorice, the back into the teddy bear brown, and I'm going to do some tapping on my plate just to get some of the excess paint out. And I also just clean up the brushes from doing my paper uh, demonstration, so it's a little wet. All right, so I'm just going to do one open, and I'm doing this actually for somebody who made the request, so I'm hoping this helps that person and I'm just kind of going around making a circular type center and then I'm just going to do some little centers up here because these are going to be my little buds or uh, partially partial flowers I guess I should say and we'll just tap another one up this direction you can round them off doesn't matter that's so just a partial all right next thing I'm going to do is come in here with my number 14 flat brush and I'm just going to stick it into my all the yellows that I have and then a little bit into the teddy bear brown and just kind of do some quick blending strokes now when I'm doing these I can pull in from the center out And I can also kind of move them in different directions, meaning that when I'm painting this, I'm gonna go this way and just show a little bit of movement for the petals. Not a lot, just a little bit. And you can do different color combinations for your uh, petals. They don't always have to be yellow. All right, so basically, just depending on which way I wanna go with it, I'll turn my brush that direction. So I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna come around here, turn my brush this way. So just kinda of giving a little bit of movement. I'm not going around the center with my petals hit, ha, all heading the same direction. I hope that makes sense. And then up here, I'm just gonna come out like this. I can pull straight back, and then turn it. If I want these petals to be more opaque, then I go back over them. If you're new to my channel, please know that I do simple designs for beginners. All right, and I put my little centers a little close together, but I'll just I'll just go with it, go back over it, and I can even go like that to carry it into the one next to me. And you're probably wondering, well, what about the fact that's showing a little bit of the center? Because that probably really wouldn't happen in a real life situation. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you here in a little bit how I fix that. All right, so I'm going to go in with my liner brush into my greens, into my yellow light, because I just want to add a little bit of lightness to this. And I will swing my vine in here. Yeah. 
If you have any questions or comments on this, please put it down below the video. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And so then this one, let's go ahead and swing it this direction. It's going to come underneath. And just take your time and have some fun. If you want to relax while you're painting, put some good meditation music on and you're set to go. All right, I'm going to take my number 12 fine liner, or not fine liner, but uh, butt brush. Oh, I said fine liner. Do some strokes here just to blend them together. And I like throwing some yellow in there, just gives it some, some light color to it. All right, so when you're doing this type of uh, leaf, you can do like the little V to get it started. Kind of gives you some guidance. And you can go over this with the dark being on both sides on the outside, or you could switch it up with some on the light, I guess, some on the dark on that side. Okay. Again, just trying to keep it simple. I'm going to come back over here, do my V. I think on this one, hopefully I'll have our all dark on the outsides. And maybe not. I'll just do it the opposite direction again. So you can mix them up a little bit to kind of give them some interest. Well, that's really anything that you can do to throw some, I don't know, throw a little bit of color options in there. I mean, as far as like mixing it up a little bit, does give it some interest. And this one's going to have light on the one side and dark on the other. And just anything, if you need to touch it up, just go like that. And you don't have to necessarily have two side by side. You can, but you don't have to. I'm going to go this way with one. Up into my flower. I'm going to pull in some yellow, which is fine. Okay, let's go over this one a little bit. It's hard to see. I got a little glare on there, so it's hard for me to see it. But I'm just going to do it like that. Keep it simple. And then come up here. Go like that. Pull it through. All right. So you don't have to have a ton. Just a few is fine. And I'm going to use the same color combinations and then come in here with just some of my simple, 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 simple little basic one stroke strokes leaves. You can use a different color with this if you want. You know, on some of my videos, I'll use just some, just a random color that makes it kind of stand out a little bit. You can do that too for these. And then we'll just come up here and maybe add a few. It doesn't have to be a lot. And let's see here. I think I'm going to maybe throw one in here. Just kind of stand back, take a look, see where you want to add them. Then I'm going to come in with my fine liner again, do the same thing. And then I'll come in here and put my little stems into them. If you feel like they're too yellow, go back over it with some green. That's up to you, but I kind of like them to stand out a little bit. If I can get them to do that. And then let's see where else we have them. Here, here, 
And then like that. Very simple. And there we go. All right, so one last thing before we're finished. We're going to go back over our centers using the Deerfoot Stippler. I'm going to add in some more of the black, the brown, and then go back over my centers. Okay, so we're just going to go over the petals a little bit. You can do the circular motion if you want. And like this one, I told you we would fix it up because that one leaf or petal came over it. Let's do that. So you can't see it. Not a big deal. And then we'll go over this one. See how like when you don't go over it, you have like the petals meeting like that. And I really kind of like them to look more like the center is on top. I'm going to put a little fun into that one. Then what I do is I take my, you can do a dotting stylus, you can just do a little brush, and I'm going to go into the yellow light, and I'm just going to tap in just some yellow to it, and do the same to these. Just Again, just gives them a little interest. It's not a big deal. Anything that I do you don't like, leave it out. And there you go. I hope that helped on the petals. If you, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would share this video on your social network with your family and friends, just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and it'll give you your options. All right, I, again, thank you so much for stopping by. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.